What's howling, Lobos? Welcome back to La Mesa Live. Today is Wednesday, February 13th. I'm Jenny, and this is my co-anchor, Darby. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Please note that tomorrow, February 14th, the library will be closing for the day at 1 p.m. and that there is no school on the following Friday and Monday. Any library business should be completed before that time. Mr. Fulliman will be going on an off-campus meeting and Mrs. Alibrand is at Golden Valley on that day. National Junior Honor Society members, please continue to turn in your applications to the ASB window. You have until February 22nd. Also, you can earn a community service hour each time you're helping in the Valet on February 22nd, March 18th, and March 22nd. Come to the front of the school at 8 a.m. on those days and see Mrs. Burleson for details. The next Pack Family Food Night is today. It is at a new restaurant called Tomato Joe's in Golden Valley Center. La Mesa will receive 20% of the receipts. Please make sure you get a copy of the flyer or have a copy of it on your phone. Take mom out to eat for Valentine's Day. If you are a member of the cast or crew of this year's talent show, remember that our first rehearsal is today. Come to the NPR at 2.15 with everything you need, including your costume so we can begin on time. Attention all 8th grade students. We are getting ready for our trip to Golden Valley High School for Black and Gold Day. You should have received this trip slip yesterday. As, as such, it must be turned in no later than Thursday, February 14th. Tables will be set up in front of the ASB window during lunch and brunch to collect this slip. Don't get left behind. And now, in honor of the upcoming President's Day weekend, Here's an informative segment. In honor of President's Day, we asked you a couple questions about U.S. presidents. I would say that my favorite president is probably Theodore Roosevelt. Oh, I don't really have a favorite U.S. president. Um, my favorite president is George Washington. That would have to be Ronald Reagan. My favorite U.S. president would have to be Thomas Jefferson. I don't really have a favorite president. I have a very big interest in all the presidents that have all kinds of interesting little tidbits and facts about them. Theodore Roosevelt, because he created the first national park. I think George Washington had the biggest impact because he was the first and he paved the way for future presidents. Uh, I think Abraham Lincoln had the biggest impact because he like freed all the slaves and stuff remains to be seen. The U.S. president that I think had the biggest impact on our nation is Lyndon B. Johnson. He prepared our nation for by creating different acts such as the Civil Rights Act, the Head Start Movement, and the Medicaid and Medicare programs. Can't narrow that down. Every single president we've had elected, all 45 of them, have had the greatest impact. To honor everything that our presidents have done for our nation. I think we celebrate President's Day to honor presidents and what they've done for their country. I think we celebrate President's Day because like, it's George Washington and Abraham Lincoln and they had the two biggest impacts. I think we celebrate President's Day because we honor the political office, the federal office, that um, is responsible for carrying out the democracy and the constitution of our land. It's not an easy position by any uh, stretch of the imagination. We celebrate President's Day because it's a time for us to take a moment to reflect on the great acts that most presidents have accomplished in our nation with the idea of moving forward in our democracy and our ideas of freedom. We celebrate President's Day just to let everybody know that these people are all human beings and that any American has the chance and opportunity to become president one day if they want to.
If you are in the circle, are, if you sorry, if you are in the Wednesday Circle of Friends group, we are meeting today in the NPR. See you there. Hey Lobos, do you want to have some fun this week? If so, come and celebrate with us by participating in our Spirit Week. Today is Decades Day. You can be a different person for just one day. And tomorrow is to see who has more spirit, 7th or 8th graders. Let's see Lobos, who will win this year? 7th graders wear red and 8th graders wear pink. And in the morning, we will have paint, face painting to show off your spirit for the month of February. The Defy and SCV Club wants to invite you to our meeting this Thursday, February 14th. It will be held at lunch in the NPR. We would host a special guest speaker from the Way Out Recovery Center who would share their story about addiction and how to be more aware of the risks associated with drug and alcohol abuse. Everyone is welcome to come. Bring your lunch and a friend. Also, on February 22nd, the Defy and SCV program is hosting ice skating night at the Valencia Ice Station from 7.30 p.m. to 9.45 p.m. The cost is $9. Your parent must bring you and pick you up. Mark your calendars for this super cool, fun activity. See Ms. Rojas or Ms. Burleson for details. Today in history, on February 13, 1959, the first Barbie doll made its debut at American Toy Factory in New York City. Today is also the birthday of American pilot Chuck Yeager. He is 96 years old. The word of the, the, word of the day for today is rigor mortis. It is a noun. The definition is Latin for the temporary stiffness of muscles after death. Rigid muscles. A sample sentence would be, as I struggled to remember what to say for my speech, I realized I couldn't move and I felt like I had rigor mortis. Something you should know about today. Today is National Tortellini Day. Tortellini is a signature dish from the Italian region of Bologna, where they claim to have created this stuffed pasta packed with flavor. Ravioli, tortellini, and tortellacci are all part of the same family of stuffed pasta. The most common fillings for tortellini are ham, white meat, and Parmesan cheese. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. What? Well, we'll see you here back tomorrow. Wait, sorry. We'll see you back here t tomorrow. For Darby and the entire crew of La Mesa Live, I'm Jenny. Have a wonderful day.